I've got a box to open. Let's see what it is. Hi everybody, welcome back to Hamshack TV. I'm your host Josh AA 4 wx right here on Hamshack TV. We're out in the garage today, so forgive the mess. It's a garage, what do you expect? But uh, I got a package today and uh, we're excited to open it and see what it is. I think we already have an idea. Check this out, Tempest, Tempest Weather Station. Let's uh, open it up and get it unboxed. So y'all can see what we got here. Uh, don't have a knife, so give me a second to grab a knife or something that'll at least cut this thing open. Uh, here we go. Little we'll Zacto knife here from the tool bench. Let's open it up and see what we got here. So white box. See your old packing list. And we open it up. And looks like it opens this way. Alright, we so we've got a couple of boxes in a box, okay? First you have uh, some installation instructions here. We'll get into that in a minute. So the first box, if I can get a grip on it, is right here. So you're gonna get multiple unboxings today, right? Here's the first box. This is the sensor device, right? So this is what you're gonna put outside. We open this one up. And sorry if I'm beating it up against the microphone. And we got some styrofoam. Pull the styrofoam away. And there it is. This is your Tempest sensor, right? Okay. Got four solar panels on it that'll keep it charged. No need to change the batteries or anything like that. We continue down the box. We have uh, another piece of foam. And it's got your mounting brackets right here on the back of it. So... We'll take these and put these to the side. You've got two different mounting brackets, so two different options. One is a pole mount. Which I put this box on floor so I can handle it. So this is your pole mount, and inside of it they've got a couple of Phillips head screws. So this would uh not quite sure. Oh, that's how it goes. This just attaches to the bottom. Right like so, if I can figure out the right pattern. Right like so. And then you'll just screw this onto your pole, whichever pole you're using, it's a one inch hole down here. So you could use top rail or something like that from an old fence post or something to that effect. I won't be using this though, unfortunately. Uh, I don't have a pole available to me. Uh, so I'll likely be using this guy, which is a flat mount. And it just goes right to the bottom, right like so. So we'll put that to the side for now. That is the sensor kit. We open this one up, this. Tempest on this side. On the back side you see it's the hub, okay? So this looks like a computer router, right? This is the device that will receive your information. So your sensor is talking to this machine, right? To, to the hub. Okay, this is what will send out all your information out to the world or out to the world or to your phone, whatever you choose to do with it. You open it up some more, there's a little bit more packing. And then this bag is your power plug. So that's that for now. Let's take a look at the installation instructions. Um, all right, so for your mount, very simple. You'll take this and screw this into it and attach it to, to whatever you're gonna do. We're gonna use a wood post for that. And then here's the quick start guide. 
So first instructions are uh, pole mount or flat, flat base mount on your, on your uh, sensor device. And then you're going to uh, enable your Bluetooth on your cell phone within range uh, make sure of your 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi network. Then visit tempest.earth slash app to download the Tempest weather app. And it'll have you walk through the steps there. Uh, learn proper uh, installation and how to identify the best permanent location for mounting option for your tensile sensor by going to sitting and installation guide. And then finally, the third thing is before final installation, you may want to uh, start taking weather observations right away. Uh, just, fi just find a temporary spot outside uh, with exposure to wind, rain, sun, uh, and secure the tempest scissor with the arrow facing the true north. So that is something very important. You need your sensor to be pointing to the true north. Here's your, here's your indicator of that. So this needs to be true north. So take your cell phone. I think Androids have this. I'm an iPhone guy. Y'all know I'm a Mac guy. You want to take your compass or a compass. A regular compass will work just fine. And point it towards regular north. And then you'll want to point this arrow in the same direction. So this does numerous things. This does wind, does temperature, uh, does wind speed, does gusts. It has a light sensor in the top of it. It also will be a lightning detector and tell you how far away the lightning strikes are. Here's the pulling off the plastic. Some of you love the ASMR stuff, but to each their own. On the bottom of the sensor, you do have a switch, right? So uh, you want to make sure you turn that on once you install the temperature sensor. All right, so uh, with that said, let's get started on uh, hooking things up here. So uh, come with me. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take this USB-C and plug it in to the hub, okay? So I'm making the choice to put this device near the sensor, which will be right here. And we're gonna take it and plug it in. Uh, probably we need to plug it on the other side. So we're gonna take it and plug it in right here. All right, so sit, sit it in the window where it can be good and seen. You don't have to put it in the window. This is just what I'm choosing to do. And I will probably move it at some point. So there's that, it's plugged up. And then now I need to go to that website and uh, the tempest.earth slash app and download the application. So we'll skip ahead and go show me installing the mount. All right, so y'all didn't see it, but I mounted the uh, bracket up there. So now we're taking the sensor, and we're turning the on switch on just like I did right there. And you see we have a green light now. So we're gonna take this, and remember, you want your arrow facing north. So we took our uh, we took our iPhone compass app, which I don't know if you're seeing or not, found true north, and now we're mounting it up on the bracket. So this thing has some odd teeth on it, so it's a little hard to find, but that's it right there. All right, so now we'll go in, get the app loaded up, and we'll see how it looks. All right, so here we are back in the shack. Here is the instructions. We've already scanned the QR code. And here is my cell phone uh, displayed on the screen. So we are going to go, and I am in iOS, so we're going to go get. And we're going to put our information in. And sometimes it's slow, but there you go. Let, it down, let the app download. Here it comes, pretty quick. Do have a gig speed here so that helps we're gonna go open we're gonna go get started enable services i'm going to allow 
Enable notifications. Absolutely, you want your notifications on for this. We are going to create an account. Okay, hit create account. We're gonna do allow Bluetooth objects, of course. And we're gonna go next. We've already plugged that in, so that's good. We've already turned the switch on, so that's good. Now it's trying to find my hub. It may be that my phone's too far away. We'll see. There it is. All right, now we're gonna hit next. And we're gonna give it a name, M Shack TV. So we're gonna go next. And we got Caroline running in behind us, that's all right. So now that we've enabled the device, we are now looking for the weather station. So we'll just sit here and let it spin. Guys, don't forget, we are on the drive for 10,000 subscribers. Once we get to 10,000 subscribers, we will have an HF radio giveaway. So if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button down below. Click the notification bell next to it. And uh, you'll be able to uh, help get us to the 10,000 subscriber mark. Uh, in order to win the radio, though, you're going to have to do a couple other things. You're going to have to join the Discord, which you'll find the link down in the description. And uh, also, you need to subscribe to the email list, which is on eight, or is on uh, hamshacktv.com. All right, so I'm going to have to do a little bit of moving here to get this connect. So just stand by just a moment. We're going to fast forward in time, see you in a few seconds. Now we're back to the Wi-Fi setup. So we're setting up. We're going to go next. It's searching for Wi-Fi networks. Okay, so here we go. We finally got a connection. We're going to go... White House, that's my super secret network. Put my password in. Let it connect. All right, guys, so after troubleshooting, we've got it working. So here you go. You just click on your uh, banner at the top. Now, keep in mind, this is on your cell phone. But uh, you can see it's on here. Right now, it says it's heavy rain. Some of this may not be completely accurate because it's still acclimating conditions. Uh, probably give it a day or two to get some accurate information. But you can see up here we've got the current temperature, 69.4 degrees, 56 humidity, or 56 dew point with the relative humidity of 62%. 29.789 inches of mercury. Uh, and steady, that's probably not the same. Uh, no lightning. You can see we've got a pretty good... Uh, wind meter going here east southeast at 2.5 miles per hour um, this is your gusts i'm assuming right here this is your daily rainfall rate your uv rays uh, and dew point and station pressure all this good stuff but that's not all it gives you more information it'll tell you how long the rains lasted today and yesterday and then for you, those of you weather weenies as james Spam would call you uh, you get wet bulb temperature, wet bulb globe temperature, the delta T, as well as the air density. And then uh, we don't have much information here, but you have options to be able to see uh, your station's history and all that good stuff. Here's the map. You can take a look at a good radar map alongside your station as well. So a couple of uh, hints with this. First big hint is make sure you get your internet situation straightened out. You cannot use a 5 gigahertz connection for this. You'll have to make your Wi-Fi 2.5 gigahertz, or 2.4 gigahertz, I should say. That is a requirement. It will not work on 5 gigahertz. Don't worry, though. That won't slow down your internet speed by doing that. Uh, the other thing, you need to make sure that you pair the sensor to your hub. Now, I missed that step somehow. This needs to be a little bit more detailed. Uh, Tempest, if you're watching this, you need to detail this a little bit better. Um, on the bottom of the device, you'll see a flashing or a, a, a translucent, translucent button that has an LED behind it. You'll need to hold that in after you've turned it on long enough to start seeing a slow green flash. That's the only way this thing will work. 
once you have uh, a uh, solid uh, lighting situation, I believe uh, it is a solid green light, you're good to go. And you should be connected and you should see um, uh, information coming in. So, so far, so good. I will give a further review down the line. Uh, it's not bad to set up. You just need better instructions than this. So make sure that you do the pairing option. Guys, I appreciate you watching. I uh, hope you have a great day. And again, don't forget, we are on the drive for 10,000 subscribers. If you're new here, make sure you go subscribe to the channel. That button is down here somewhere. Uh, that's step number one. Once we have 10,000 subscribers, we will give away an HF radio. Uh, there are rules about that. You'll see a video back a few about a week ago that had information about that giveaway. You must join the Discord, you must subscribe to the YouTube channel, and you must join the email list. All this information is available on hamshacktv.com, uh, the links to the, dis the Discord, as well as the YouTube channel. Guys, thanks for watching. Stick around. we got great content coming up. We are confirmed now to be on Ham Radio 2.0 next Sunday, May 11th, right there on Ham Radio 2.0's YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next video, 73. A4WX, WSCB 693.